Hi, everybody. Good morning. Happy Friday. And welcome to our last day of our 21 days of encouragement. It's not our last day of anything, but it's we are closing down our 21 days because we've done all 21 of them. Today's topic is freedom. You know, over the last 21 days, we've um, we've talked about encouragement, we've talked about purpose, we've talked about mindset, we've talked about attitude, and today we're going to talk about freedom. Tomorrow is July the 4th, Independence Day in the United States. How perfect. I didn't plan it that way. It just worked out that way. But isn't it a beautiful way to, to conclude our discussions? So these past few months may have been tempting it may have tempted us to feel sort of like we've lost some of our freedoms. Viktor Frankl said, said, our greatest freedom is the freedom to choose our attitude. So let's talk about that and look about that. Look at that for just a moment. You know, um, there are forces in this world that would love to keep us less than what we've been created to be. The enemy, I'll just use that term, the enemy loves confusion, loves to keep us confused and fearful and doubting. And these days, a lot of us are really confused about what to do, where we can go safely, what we can do and be safe, what to believe, what is safe. Will it ever end? And so the enemy loves that negativity. And we've got plenty of that going on in the news, in the social media, everywhere you look. And that negativity would just love to take up residence in us and bring us down and keep us less effective, ultimately make us sick, physically sick. Now we have the freedom to choose a different way. We have the freedom to think positively. We have the freedom to walk in light, not in darkness. We have the freedom to make the best of today's world, to make the best of today's world. We have the freedom to see joy in everything that happens to us, regardless of what it is. We have the freedom to be us. We have the freedom to be. Now, there's a story about a Vietnam uh, prisoner of war, and uh, this guy uh, was in solitary confinement, over in Vietnam for years, years in a cell, all by himself, never got outside. And before he went to Vietnam, he had been a scratch golfer. He had played golf every chance he got and he played on his scratch golf. And so while he was in solitary confinement, he visualized himself playing golf every single day. He chose the freedom to be in his mind free. When he got home back to the United States, and he played his first game of golf. He played nearly a perfect round. How did that happen? Everybody wanted to know. And he explained that I might have been in a cell, but it was only my body that was in the cell. In my mind, I played golf every single day. I walked every course that I'd ever played. I felt the wind on my face. I felt the grip of the clubs in my hand. I felt the sun on my back. I watched my drives soar, perfect drives every time, soar through the air toward the green. And I felt the sand on my hands when I chipped out of each trap, perfect chips out of every trap. And I saw every single putt that I made sink into the hole and I heard it when it hit the hole, the bottom of the hole. We not, may not be in a prison cell like that Vietnam guy, that, that soldier was, Yet, if we're letting the events of today, if we're letting a virus, if we're letting circumstances, anything, make us prisoners, we might as well be in a concrete cell. Think about that. We have the freedom to see beyond quarantine, just like that prisoner saw beyond his cell in Vietnam. We have the freedom to see the world in a fabulous way. And we have an oil for that. It's called Freedom, rightfully so. This is a wonderful blend. And let me tell you what's got in it. It's got Copaiba, 
sacred frankincense, a wonderful single oil, Idaho blue spruce, vetiver, lavender, peppermint, palo santo, and valerian and rue. Now, valerian is, um, for most people, they find valerian not to be a very pleasant aroma. So when I first smelled freedom, I can pick up, even to today, the valerian in it. And for some people, they say it smells like stinky socks. However, it can, the aroma can grow on you. So when I first smelled freedom, I'll be, you know, I was a little less than excited about it. But over the years, it was released at our convention as a um, blend that we could purchase outside of a collection um, in 2018. So since that time, I have come to really love this oil and I use it. I use it when I feel like I am allowing myself to be put into that prison of thoughts, okay? Freedom, it has a relaxing aroma because, oh, by the way, valerian and rue combined together with lavender make a perfectly beautiful blend and Young Living has it. It's called Valer um, Rudavala. And it, we use it at night because valerian rue and lavender together make a beautiful oil that helps in give us a good night's sleep. So if you have any restlessness at night, sleeplessness, that there are oils that you may want to try. And so it's very relaxing. This oil is very relaxing. And yet it will rejuvenate us and inspire us to be confident in our feelings so that we can step into each day with emotional freedom. Emotional freedom is so important, and it, it's ours, every single one of us. Remember the guy in the cell in Vietnam. Think about that. Compare that to your life. What cell are you allowing yourself to stay in? This one you can diffuse, um, particularly if you diffuse it in the evening. It may help you release some of the days, the worldly troubles of the day and help you just drift off into a nice, beautiful night's sleep. You can massage it behind your ears, on your wrist, or, or on your temples. Or if you don't particularly care for the aroma, start using it on your feet because that's the farthest you can get from your nose. And it'll still do all the good things for you because within 20 minutes, the teeny tiny molecules of these oils reach every cell in your body anyway. So on your feet is always a perfectly good place to put any oil. It has a very liberating aroma and it does truly inspire emotional freedom. So if you need a little bit of it, consider freedom. Um, you can actually just inhale it from the bottle, okay? You could also put a couple drops into your bath water, maybe add some, maybe a cup of, a cup of Epsom salt, however you, whatever you like to do, um, and just, just soak and in, invite thoughts that lead to emotional freedom. We all need that and peace. That'll help you sleep better too at night. Um, thank you so much for joining me over these last 21 days. You have encouraged me and helped me to remember to take time for self-care so that we can all better serve others. That's what I love about these groups and that's what I love about sharing things with other people because in order to share it, you gotta look in the mirror and then you gotta do it. So. I love, I would love to hear your takeaways. I always love to hear your comments. So please share your takeaways from any of these posts or from this whole 21 days, um, just an overview. And if you have never used essential oils before and you're curious about them and you'd like to try one, I'd love to send you a sample. Absolutely no obligation. So if, if that interests you and you've never used oils before and you'd like to try some of, one of these oils, just PM me or put in the comments, hashtag try an oil, and I will contact you and we'll get you something in the mail, okay? Have a safe, happy, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic, fabulous 4th of July, and keep sharing your thoughts in this group. Keep asking your questions and keep making this group even more fabulous because it truly is fabulous because of you, okay? Onward and upward. Happy 4th of July, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.